Okay, so hopefully some of this is dry at least. Whew, we had dinner. I had the biggest potato a human being has ever had. I'm a vegetarian, so everybody else had steak and I had a giant, giant potato. They had a potato too, but they had steak. Okay, we're gonna have to make a decision about a little piece of fluff here on the bottom. We can leave this here or we can glue it down or we can pull it off. I think I want it pulled off to have a little bit of fun, extra edgy bit. That's cute. This is getting, this to me feels like the least cute one that we're gonna have to work on. All right, this has a lot that needs to come off. Oh, shoot. I forgot. We have to do our uh, embossing over here. So let's do that. I knocked some of it off, which is fine. All right, I love how rough and grungy and funky that is. Okay, so we're gonna give that a second to dry. We're gonna think about this one. Okay. So first off, ach, we lost our hole. We're gonna have to just make a hole in there. Um, let's see what we have that's fun. Because I know we have some of these curly cues. That's a lock and key. Lock and key. Which I think we have plain enough here. This is a, well, we could do stuff like this. Ooh, that's kind of fun there, isn't it? I thought there were purple curly cues. Purple curly cues. I was thinking we could... Oh, I'm feeling the curly cues for this one. Okay, let's collect those. We're gonna put those up there for this. I think this might be a curly cue part. This I think says number. And wasn't there a number somewhere? Number three, number two. There's another curly cue. Ooh, we have bats. What is it? Oh, oh, this is some of the stuff that I cut up. Ooh, trick or treat. That's fun. Thought if there was another bat. All right. All right. So, I'm almost feeling a little bit of this and there. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna put this here and just fold it where I need to cut it. This, I feel like, could be more of a actual, like, collage -y thing. And then this one up here. So that's right there. All right, before we do that, I want a little bit of this grungy stuff. So, I'm gonna do some of this on this corner. Cause we got to get some texture and layers going in here. This is looking a little twee. All right, and then I want more like, don't forget, we're gonna put that, that piece over there. So we just kind of have a little bit of room anyways up here. Ooh, I want that, oops. 
I want this to go over the witchy part. I want to stop having just like random pieces of stuff, maybe a titch over him. There we go. I want to quit having random stuff all around and start to hook things together, right? If you have this with nothing touching it, then it feels like an orphan that doesn't actually belong in your piece, where if you have stuff touching it, then all of a sudden it starts to feel like it belongs, right? Right, 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 okay. All right, so let's let this dry for a second. This cooled down. So we can glue our balloons on here. Oh my gosh, this is turning out to be really a cool project. All right, I think I missed a little bit while you were gone. Um, so this one is done with the stuff, right? So things I did. I put a little bit of Uggs behind here. I put this Fleur de Lis on here more Uggs. We have these amazing guys. Little Fleur de Lis. This one, not much more happened. I put a little bit of Uggs around. I put the number here and the lucky there. This one, uh, I finished doing the embossing of the background, which I think turned out, this is turning into my favorite. Maybe this should have gone a little bit over, but I'm fine with that because don't forget, boop, 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 this is really wet, but there's going to be a something in that hole. I keep gluing the envelope to itself. Okay, so there's going to be something in that hole. Where's, where's, where's my envelope hole? There we go. Right, so it's either gonna be this one or it looks like it could be this one. There we go. Oh, the tree's getting stuck. We gotta glue that tree branch down. I have a feeling this whole system is gonna be problematic, but that's okay, I don't mind. All right, tree branch glued down. There you go. So see, it's gonna kind of be like a, uh, see what the other side looks like. Yeah, see, that's fine. You hardly see anything under here. Um, didn't do anything on here. So that's where we're at right this second. So this one is done with sticking stuff on, but I'm going to be doing a ton of embossing. So that's what's up next for this. This was, to me, a little um, out there for me. I didn't know I was going to do a tag on there, but I think it turned out cute. Um, this one I'm loving. I like the simplicity of this. I don't know that I'm going to do a whole lot more on there. This one, I feel like we need to have something else here. So let's think about what we want to put on our feature lady. All right. Oh, we have the bats. Okay, so the bats are going to be part of it. We also have this thing. Okay, so take away this, because I can emboss that black. I feel like that takes away from her. So I want her to be the star of the show. Anything we put on here has to be like totally um, in service of her. I don't know, I'm, I'm just kind of digging the, the plain, well, we have a lock and key, so we could do a key and a lock. That doesn't do anything for me. We have floor de leases, which could be okay. Oh, get this out of here. Ooh, what if we do that as just a little, ooh, I kind of love that, and then one bat up here. That's it. Oh, I like that spider webby bat. All right. Okay, so we got the bat here. 
the fleur de lis here. I feel like these were a little feature with this ephemera pack. And this is the one you can still buy. It's the graphic um, 45 one. So, and then this is the back of a purple one. I like the purple, but the other ones were black on the back. And if I did purple, that would take away from her. And the whole point is to make her fancy. Okay, we're gonna give that a second to dry. Done with this, done with that. Now, lots of people save all this stuff. I probably won't, because um, I tend to buy new stuff every year, but you could save it. All right, let's start embossing. So, mostly I'm gonna use my embossing pens. Let's do, this little pile of stuff is just not okay over here because all my stuff rolls back down to me. That won't work. We'll put it over here in this pile of stuff. Okay. Whew. All right. So I am going to make her, I need my good skinny mini. I am going to make her a sparkly black hat because I have black sparkle embossing. Okay. So that is gonna be black sparkle. So I'm gonna try to do all the things I'm gonna do in the same color at once. Okay, here we go. Nice, look at that, so shiny. Okay, let's see if, so that's gonna be her. I don't know that anything's gonna be black sparkle on here. I think it would be, okay, I'm gonna make the Florida Lisa's over here black sparkle. And the bat. Everything over here is going to be black sparkle. And in the, the notes, all the 90% of the embossing stuff I use is Ranger. And they have a little thing where for your first order, you can get, I think, 10% off or $10 off. It's a really good deal. There's a coupon link in there if you want it. We may have some wet <laughs> Mod Podge issues here. That should not come as a shocker because I keep saying, oh, we'll wait a minute for it to dry and then I literally wait a minute. Okay, so let's emboss this. Oh, look how fancy they are. This is really beautiful. Okay. On this side, no, no black. So we are done with black sparkle. Checkity check, 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 check. Now let's work on her a little bit. So her feathers, I am going to do in um, Crackling Campfire. It's this really kind of brightish orange red. Oh, this is a bad one. So we are gonna do her feathers and her rose in that. And this is embossing glaze. So that, that um, this sparkle, use your word, Schiffer, um, was opaque, you couldn't see through it. But this embossing glaze is transparent. So you'll still be able to see all the beautiful um, details underneath. It'll just be a brighter color. You'll see in one second. You'll like it. I promise you, this is a cool one. Boop, boop, boop. Darn it. Okay, so for this one, I am going to get this off of places I don't want it. 
because I don't want that red all over. So it's no big deal. It's just static electricity that is kind of getting it stuck on there. And you can just snudgy it off, right? Right. Okay, that's cute. Let's get in here. Okay, there we go. All right, so you may be asking yourself, but Tara, how do you pick up your embossing powder when you get, get it on there so often? Okay, this is the easiest way, peeps. You put a paper down. You sweep it with your paintbrush onto your paper. It's gonna be two steps, and then you have to get it over there. Then you need to curve your paper a tiny bit to make a funnel. So I have to say that I don't get very upset about this. What I did get upset about was when I dumped the wrong color into a different jar and ruined a whole jar. I was a little bit sassy about that one. That made me a little bit sad. Just dumping this doesn't make me sad at all. I do it all the time. And I can let, now that I have that um, embossing powder on the embossing um, liquid from the pen, I can let that sit. I could let it sit till tomorrow and it'll still be okay. You just don't want to touch it and knock it off. Okay, here we go. See, there you have it. It didn't make it go, the under design go away. It just made it more vibrant, right? Oh, that's fancy. Okay. So now we're going to do her glasses. Oh, we should do everything that's red. What else is red? I might do her corset red. Do I want to do her corset red? I want to do her corset red, but I'm going to use my ratty old ranger pen for that. I use the ratty one for like big areas. And if I needed to, I could go in for fine detail, but I'm not getting too twisted about this. Embossing is sort of a ish um, kind of thing. Like you do a good job ish. Now around my Raven, I am going to try to do a little bit better job because I don't want my whole Raven covered in red embossing. Rat. Okay, let's do this. Where'd it go? Okay, let's try not to pour it down. inside the envelope. There we go. That is going to be pretty. Okay, I feel like I missed enough of a couple little spaces that I want to fill it in. So there's a missing space here, here, and here. So we're gonna just do a quickie on there and I'll be right back. Okay, no more red on here that I can see. Okay. Do I wanna do my balloons? Do I, I don't have an orange. I have concerns about doing my balloons. I kind of love my balloons. I'm going to leave them like this for now. This is going to be super fancy. Where's another one? There it is. No red on here. Okay. So next is yellow. We're going to do fossilized amber. 
And I can use my ratty one. And we're doing our wings. Okay, So not only are we gonna have the layer of part of it's gonna be embossed and part of it isn't, right? That's gonna help us show that she's the focus because she's mostly embossed. Um, can we get it on there? Nope, no embossing on there. But this is one of my all time, I only have like two of these left. And so I'm super excited to use these. Like I said, I've had her for about 10 years and, I, and I've used her in a couple things, but I use her sparingly. Okay, that uh, red was Crackling Campfire. This is um, fossilized amber, like the amber in um, Jurassic Park. All right, love them. I have concerns about doing her necklace that because wall embossing is amazing, it... Um, it's not for fine details. And so I think I could mess it up and then hate it. So we're gonna come back. I'm not going to do this. Okay, any yellow here. I think I'm gonna do this pumpkin and maybe around it. And maybe her lantern. Cause I'm gonna tart her up a little bit too. So I'm doing around the ticket, the pumpkin, and her lantern. And never worry about putting lots of embossing powder on because anywhere you're not gonna use it, you're just gonna tap it off. And put it right back in the bottle. Rat, rat. Okay. I feel like I lost a little bit of this bottom part. There we go. It's back. All right. And we emboss. Okay. I have what's called antique linen. So we are going to do her whole dress in antique linen. need my lid. Did you like my ninja move there? I know, really sad. I don't know what to tell you. And we got a bunch of antique linen coming up. Okay, I need the ratty old one. So we're going to do the majority of this with the ratty old one, and then we'll do another round with the finesse one. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. <laughs> so... So, so sad. Okay, audit, audit. And I think you'll agree, embossing just makes everything better. It makes everything more wonderful. Okay, I wanna do her sleeve. Do the sleeve. Okay, Ooh, and then her, buy the broomstick. Okay, okay. Now you probably wouldn't see this one on the darker color because it is translucent, but look at how beautiful she's coming out. Okay, anything else tan on this side? No. Okay, this side, 
Let's get, let's do our good one on the easy places. We're gonna go around here. We're gonna go right down here. Oops, wrong place. Da, da, da. That we can do. We're gonna make this line. And let's go across here for this minute and then we'll come back and do the other ones. I always worry that the embossing liquid will dry before I can get the powder on. And I'm a, probably a little bit of a nervous Nelly about that. It probably lasts a lot longer than I think, but I also don't want to mess with it drying out. Use your brush, and then you don't wind up wiping off all your embossing powder. Okay. Don't touch your embossing powder. All right, there we go. Okay, now, oops, where I put the wrong part. Ain't no thing in there. Now I need the big, ugly one to do this. And I like that it's not covering it completely because then it makes it look more like it's um, parchment. Okay. Do we want to do her dress? I don't think I'm going to make her, like I'm going to make her card a feature and their outlines and some of them a feature, but she's not a feature on here. For me, these guys are. So I think we're done with the brown. Okay. Next, we need green. Okay. So, let's do green. And we're going to do his green stamp. And if you're a righty, you can work top to bottom and not go over where you um, are. You don't want to get embossing powder outside of, you know, where you could touch it and lose it. There we go. See, they're starting to pop out, right? Okay, that side's done. This one, oh, we have a bunch. We've got this thing. And this will make this go from looking like, oh, there's a number stuck up there to, ooh, how fancy. Because. Embossing powder makes everything fancy. There's a slight possibility I am going to have to join an embossing self-help group. Okay, there we go. Did we get any on here? I didn't think we got any on that smudgy on the bottom. I know, right? Ooh, fancy. Okay, no more green. I'm not gonna do that leaf. It's not a feature. And, oh, she has green leaves on her hat. I do have to do her hat with her green leaves. Gorgeous. Okay, now we need blue. And I think you'll notice I emboss a lot and I hardly ever have to buy embossing powders. I have to replace my black a lot um, and my gold, but I use these all the time and I hardly ever have to replace them. So don't feel like if you use your embossing powders, they're gonna run out fast because they really don't. I feel like I emboss any more than anybody I know. Okay, I do emboss more than anybody I know because nobody else I know embosses, like in real life. So that is a factual statement, peeps. Okay, that is cute. All right. That we're not doing anything on. 
This has no blue. This has blue. So we're gonna do his little background here. Well, I guess we could have done his little red tie, huh? We're not doing that. It's this big. Even I'm not that nutty. Okay. Let's see, any other colors we need? If I had a purple, I have pink and I have blue. I do not have purple. I wonder what, I'm gonna try pink on this purple. That may work, and if it doesn't, I'll put a little layer of blue because blue and pink will make purple and it is translucent. I'm just trying to pop this out as a feature a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see, the only thing we can do is try, right? Right, right, right. This is called Kitsch Flamingo. And I am not a big purple person. I know there's purple people. I am not one of them. So, it is not the end of the world to me that we don't have purple, but that fancied it up. I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm going to get into the pink game on that one. Okay, so we're done with this. We're done with this. Now we're going to do a metric poop ton of, this is called black hickory smoke. I wish I had black soot. I don't know why I don't have black soot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is my favorite girl. So we're gonna do her hat. Look at that, it's perfect. Did I miss that little part in the front? Or is it just lighter? Let me see. This to me is the most important part of the piece. So we're going to get this one right. Okay. Okay. I think it was both. I think I missed it and it's lighter. Okay. So now we are going to do her collar. And I wish I knew the artist of this design because I would surely give her a shout out. I love this. All right, and we're gonna do her sleeves and her raven. We may do the inside of her bodice. I'm 90% sure we are, but I'm gonna do her sleeves and her raven first. And probably while I'm at Michael's tomorrow, I'm gonna look and see if I can find another embossing pen. I don't know if Ranger sells them there. And I don't know why I didn't pick one up. Although Tim Holtz is doing his uh, Christmas lunch this month. So I am relatively sure there will be another art supply order in my future. So pretty. 
Okay, so here's where the rubber meets the road. Oh, we could do, you know what we could do? We could do her neck too. I feel like I don't want, I'm gonna do this part in green because I don't wanna take away, oops, let me. I'm kind of excited about doing her. You gotta give me a minute because I'm having issues right now. I'm having, doing my lady cool issues. So I'm gonna, oh, I should do inside of her thingy my bobbies. We're gonna do that in green. Cause I don't wanna incorporate a ton of colors into this. This this is like, the, the bonus of this is her, not that I embossed her, right? Oh yeah. I am going to do her jacket, but I'm going to do it in clear. I have to knock this out really good. And use my shirt to clean it out. It's the only time I, I clean out my tray because I don't want my clear to get contaminated. But I am going to color this whole lady. Where's my big nasty one? Um, and we're just going to do it in clear, which will make it shiny, but not a feature. If I did it in red, she would glow in the dark and not in a good way. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can with this. And then I'm going to come in and do the fine part with the fine marker. Can you believe that this is a, a scrapbook page? Isn't that crazy? Okay, clear. Let's make sure we don't do white. Trying not to pour it in the hole in my envelope. feel like I don't need to come in and do it again. I think I'm doing this whole top in clear. She's going to be all embossed head to toe, except for her bike. So pretty. I think that is stunning. Okay, that's done. Oh, we're not doing the other side. We could, oh, ew, we could emboss the balloons in clear. Do you get the feeling? I do too. We're gonna emboss the balloons in clear, but we're not gonna use up all our pen because we do have a couple things we could use. If I could find them. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is a dauber. This is really cool because it will let us put embossing liquid. Is it coming out? It might have to crawl down to the to the bottom. Oh, there we go. I think I see some color now. We will try it and see. And if not, we'll just do it again. So nice, we'll do it twice. There we go. Sticking.
I have to go around anyways, but once we blast this, this will be stuck on. And this one for sure, oops, it looks like there's a bunch, it's not melted, no, hold on. See, I'm so glad I didn't try to color this one. Um, but this one I feel like doesn't scream Halloween. This is just cool and funky monkey. I am digging this one. Okay. Again, I'm just trying not to pour embossing powder into my envelope. <laughs> you see all that embossing powder come out of my envelope? All right, that is snazzy. I like that now. Little fancy, fancy, that's fancy, that's done. And we just have the other one to finish and we are done. Any clear, we could do her in clear. That would be good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this like this. Okay. Ooh, we could do our peeps in this in clear. Let's do our peeps. And it doesn't matter if we go over that old embossing because it's clear, it's just gonna give it even more um, layers. There we go. We'll check and see how we like it. It made it pop out. I love it. Okay. Any clear? Oh, we could do the rest of her in clear, right? Like her cape. And her arm. And her cat. I can tell I'm getting tired. It's about time for my bedtime. I should not be doing this right now because when you're tired, you tend to not be willing to do as much as you would when you're fancy, right? But that's okay. We're gonna get through this, peeps. Missed half her cat with embossing powder. There we go. Okay, I feel like we need to do up here and then we shall be done with this side. Oh, I lied. I'm gonna do this. See, it's just not real good for filling in that big areas. Ooh, 
that is snazzy. Okay. Now, last but not least, we just have to finish up the black and we're done. Now you can mix clear with any other color. You just can't mix any other color with clear or it'll mess you up. It will mess, it'll wreck you. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a ton of black on this one. that much black because we did a fair bit of it in the uh, okay so on this one we are gonna I'm gonna try one thing first and then if I don't like it we're gonna emboss so we're gonna try to do take away from it let's see can we get enough around it okay I'm fine with that I think yeah I'm okay with that that is good this one well I'm gonna show you this one and then you tell me if we need to do the other one because wait till you see how cool it looks when you do it just worry on the other one it'll be too stark this is very dark and that one isn't as dark I also feel like I need to finish it off around this edge there you go that is cool okay I love this one I love this one I almost love this one I want to love this one I don't love this one yet so you know what we're gonna do we're going to get us some orange India ink, tangerine. And we are going to go around here and smudge up the edge. Just smudge, smudge, smudge. There we go. Now, I like it. See, I knew I would like it if I made it look all nasty. There we go, see, made a huge difference. And you were thinking, no, don't smudge up the edges. Oh no, this never gets stuck. I even shut my lid. I feel like I was a good glue user. Sometimes a little air bubble or something I think gets in there and then the glue can't get past it. All right, let's do this. There's a little smudgy thing in there. What is that? All right, there we go. Excellent. And where's our another one to make sure we don't have something we need to do? 
Very cute. We already did this one. We're all done. Okay, so let's have a final recap. Put some of this stuff away. And I think these turned out amazing. When you think of the fact that they started with little um, scrapbook pages and we turned them into mixed media. So, love, like I adore her. I adore everything about her. I adore her. I love this. Like I'm super excited about these two pages. They're pretty plain. It's the, um, the card that is really super fancy. So I feel like it's gonna go this way because she, um, she covers most of that back, right? So you just see a little bit in there, but look at that. Okay, well that's it. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.